great day. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic, tenses. What are tenses? What do they do for us? Tenses is a, it defines the relation of time and work. Time ka relation, work ke saath kaisa hai? Kya karta hai wo humare liye? We are going to discuss that. Basically, we all know there are three types of time. So, we have three tenses, main tenses, present tense, past tense, future tense. These all three tenses are subdivided into four further four categories. Indefinite tense, continuous tense, perfect tense and perfect continuous tense. Indefinite means there is no certainty. We don't know whether the action had taken place at what time, irrespective whether it is in past, present or continuous. We don't know exactly. Continuous tense is the time which is still going on. Perfect means the action has finished. Whether it has finished in past, present or it is in the continuous tense. Perfect continuous tense is the mixture of perfect tense and continuous tense. Means the action has started in the past and it is still continuing in the present or the action has started in the present and will be continued. So we get 12 tenses. Example, present indefinite tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, present perfect continuous tense. Same goes for rest of the two. Future indefinite tense, future continuous tense, future perfect tense and future perfect continuous tense. So, before going and discussing the individual tenses, we must understand the structure. Structure of the sentence. Now, we are going to start studying the tenses one by one. First, we will take present indefinite tense, which is also called present simple present tense. The basic rule which we have to follow in this tense is we have to use first form of the verb plus s or es. Let's take the examples and do it. She goes to school. They go to school. And I go to school. These are the examples of present indefinite tense. Now let's see. Have we followed those rules? She goes to school. Verb. First form of the verb. Plus E S. Right. We have followed the rule. Now see the next sentence. They go to school. First form of the verb. But where is S or E S? Even in the third one. I go to school. First form of the verb, but no S or T S. So, my dear students, we have to remember a basic rule which is to be followed here. V1, sis, only V1 is used with I, V, U, they, or any plural form of verb. Like we did it here. I go to school. Go is the first form. No, we don't have to use S or ES with it. They go to school. They is a plural form. Here you will say I to plural right here. Why are we using? This is the rule. You follow this rule. I go to school. No need to put S or ES. And in any other plural form, 
we have just to use verbs first form and then we come to she goes to school isme we have used words first form and es with the verb why was this wait it he she or any singular form of verb we use first form of word plus s e s she goes to school first form of verb with this singular subject and e s she teaches i teach in all these things verbs first form plus s e s i teach first form no e s then we have understood this where to use the first single first form and where to use v1 first form and e s understanding this we can now make these sentences into negative interrogative and negative interrogative sentence let's say take the example let's take the example of she goes to school to make this sentence negative all we have to do is she does not go to school i think i can drop this now negative sentence interrogative and negative interrogative she structure of the sentence basically has following parts subject helping verb main verb plus the complementary body or the complementary part here doing tenses we have to just consider helping verb and the main verb subject and the complementary body doesn't change what changes is the helping verb and the main verb now we should know the forms of verb there are five forms of verb we are aware of three v1 v2 v3 jo ki hum always we try to learn them i'll give you the examples go went got first form of the verb second form of the verb and the third form of the verb write wrote written bite bit bitten blow blew blow and there are n number of verbs which you will in the due course learn them i will give you a list of these verbs forms of verb three forms of verb at the end of this lecture so you can just go through them and you will understand so coming back to forms of verb we have v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 verb ka first form first form of the verb is used with present tense for present tense and for future tense we do second form of the verb is used for past tense third form is used for past participle fourth form denoting ing is for continuous tense and v5 that is s e s is used for present tense these are the five forms of verbs which we will be doing when we start individually understanding the tenses you can just go through these forms try to remember them you can note it down and then we will start with tenses now 
we are going to start studying the tenses one by one. First, we will take present indefinite tense, which is also called present simple present tense. The basic rule which we have to follow in this tense is we have to use first form of the verb plus s or e s. Let's take the examples and do it. She goes to school. They go to school. And I go to school. These are the examples of present indefinite tense. Now let's see. Have we followed those rules? She goes to school. Verb. First form of the verb. Plus E. Yes. Right. We have followed the rule. Now see the next sentence. They go to school. First form of the verb. But where is S or ES? Even in this third one, I go to school. First form of the verb. But no S or ES. So my dear students, we have to remember a basic rule which is to be followed here. V1. Sif. Only V1 is used with I, V, U, they or any plural form of verb. Like we did it here. I go to school. Go is the first form. No, we don't have to use S or ES with it. They go to school. They is a plural form. Here you will say, I to plural right here. Why are we using? This is the rule. You follow this rule. I go to school. No need to put S or ES. And in any other plural form, we have just to use verbs first form. And then we come to she goes to school. Is may we have used verbs first form and es with the verb. Why was this? With it, he, she or any singular form of verb we use first form of word plus s e s. She goes to school. First form of verb with the singular subject and E S. She teaches, I teach. In all these things, verbs first form plus S E S, I teach, first form, no E S. Then, we have understood this, where to use the first, single first form and where to use V1, first form and ES. Understanding this, we can now make these sentences into negative, interrogative and negative, interrogative sentence. Let's say, take the example, let's take the example of she goes to school. To make this sentence negative, all we have to do is she does not go to school. I think I can drop this now. Negative sentence, interrogative and negative interrogative. Now, since we know the rules of present indefinite or simple present tense, now we can
can make the three sentences negative interrogative and negative interrogative forms how she goes to school now to make it negative we just have to add not before the verb she does not and then we will say goes to school no this is wrong she does not go to school wait when we add do or does this has already e is with it and if do it is is a first form of the verb here we have done do is used for plural and for b1 we do not use ses so we have there is no need for us to write es with it so she does not go to school they do not go to school we know where we have to put do and where we have to put does so when we make i'm repeating it when we make a negative sentence in present indefinite or simple tense we do not write please remember we do not add s or es with the verb because it is already added in thus do is the first form of the verb and es is already added in they do not go to school we have seen here with plural we just have verbs first form so there is no need for es they do not go to school i do not go to school so we have made a negative sentence now we come to interrogative all you have to do is move this does in front of the subject does she go to school interrogative is very simple you just have to do is move this does in front of subject now negative interrogative does she not go to school all you have to do is to make it negative you have to write not and then to make it interrogative you just have to move does to the first and to make it interrogative negative and in interrogative you have just to add not let me change the sentence into interrogative we have to put a question mark at the end of the sentence same goes here negative interrogative does she not go to school we are asking hum pooch rahe hain and when we are asking we have to put a question mark at the end of the sentence this finishes our present indefinite or simple tense